Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a modified right angle weave using two hold beads. Now, this is the bracelet I've made, and this is what we're going to make today in the video. And it's just sort of, as you can see, kind of those units of right angle weave, but I've done a little bit of a modification to account for the two holes, and I wanted to make sure that you didn't really see my thread paths. So I'm going to show you kind of how to do that in this video. So to complete this project, you're going to need Fireline Crystal in a size B. I'm using size 12 beading needles. You'll need a pair of scissors. Here I have a two hole tube clasp and they slide out just like so. I'm using 11-0 Toho seed beads, four millimeter round Druck check glass, and then over here I have the Super Duos and these are Chet Glass and I have these in a beautiful dark emerald neon today. So I have my needle and I have a length of thread. You will need to probably add on more thread as you weave. Uh, we do have a separate video showing you how to add on and weave in your, your tails and thread. But for now, I'm just going to start with this length and then we're ready to go. So as I previously explained, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a little unit and then building onto it and keeping going. As if you're familiar with right angle weave, you'll understand sort of how this works. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one four millimeter bead, one seed bead, one two hole bead, another seed bead, another four millimeter, another seed bead. I'm going to push these down off my needle. And now I'm going to pick up another two hole bead, another seed bead, another four millimeter, another seed bead. I'm going to push this down. Another two hole, a seed bead, a four millimeter, a seed bead, and finally, another two hole bead. So what you have here is you have starting with a seed bead and you have, you're basically alternating until you have four of each. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this towards the end of my thread. And I know the thread is hard to see because it's crystal on this white background, but you'll see in just a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I'm starting, I'm going to leave a fairly long tail because as you notice, the tail will come out here and that's exactly what I'm going to use to attach my clasp. So when you first begin, you're going to want to leave a little bit of a long tail as you get to the center. You don't need to leave as long of a tail because you'll just end up weaving that in. That's a little tip for you. So you're going to take your needle and you're going to go back through the first seed bead, four millimeter bead and seed bead that you strung. And what you're going to do is you'll see and it'll kind of come together as a nice little unit. Some people like to tie a knot at this point. I personally don't. So I'm just going to keep and I'm going to weave all the way around one more time. I'm just going to follow my thread path and just go back through. And that is going to secure it for myself. And I personally like to make this first unit really tight. I think it just helps give the structure to your entire bracelet. So I'll get my thumb out of the way for you. <laughs> and almost back up to the top. There we go. Now, as you can see, my two threads have come together here. Now is where I'm going to tie a knot just to secure that in place. Just a simple overhand knot to give it a little bit of strength. There we go. Now it's nice and tight. So now what I'm going to do, I have my tail here and my thread coming out here. I'm going to, let's see if I can show you this easily. I'm going to sort of bend my two hole beads so that they come into the center, just like so. I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to go into 
that second hole in the second hole bead right there. Keep my tail out of the way. And pull that in. Oops, I got my tail stuck in there. Just push that through. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up one seed bead and I'm gonna go through the second two hole bead. Pick up another seed bead and go through that second, the third, excuse me, the third two hole, two hole seed bead. Ooh, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> pick up another seed bead and go through that fourth one. And then pick up one more and I'm back home. And now what I'm going to do is because I want to leave this thread where it is, let me just flip that around. I want to leave this thread where it is so that I can attach my clasp. So what I need to do with this thread is to get it around to where I can build on a second unit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it back down around that same seed bead and go through the next seed bead. And I'm just going to work it all the way around that bottom again until I get to where I want to be. Now this is where it's a little bit of a modified right angle weave. A right angle weave tends to be a little bit prettier, but just because you have to keep turning the thread in this one, I'm just gonna kind of leave it as such. So now what I'm gonna do, this is one unit. Now I'm going to build on a second unit. So to do that, I'm gonna pick up one seed bead and one two hole bead, one seed bead, one four millimeter seed bead, a two hole, and slide that down off my needle. Seed bead, four millimeter, seed bead, two hole bead, seed bead, four millimeter, seed bead, and two hole bead, come here. <laughs> Slide those down. And now, as you'll see, as I'm just going to pull it, it'll come right back in there. And you'll notice that I'm missing a seed bead. So you have one, two, one, two. So I need to pick up one more seed bead to make sure that you kind of double up your seed beads on that little unit. So now I'm going to come back through and I'm going to go through this four millimeter bead, just like so. And now I'm going to go through the seed bead and the two hole bead come up and now I'm just going to go straight back through that same two hole bead and this is where I am going to begin adding in my seed beads. This becomes a little easier once you have a better structure. There we go and go ahead and pick up one of your seed beads. Go through the next two hole bead. Another seed bead. And flip that next two hole bead in and go through that. One more seed bead. Through your next two hole bead. One more seed bead, your next and last two hole bead. So you see how we're sort of building those structures on? So now I'm going to make it nice and easy on myself and turn around in this two hole bead. And then go through this seed bead and this four millimeter bead. 
And now I'm all set to build my next unit right here. So I'll just show you one more time. Okay, so now I have that strung. I'm just gonna go back through that four millimeter bead and pull tight and go through the next seed bead and the next two hole bead. Do my turnaround in that two hole bead and then pick up my seed bead Go through the next two hole bead, pick up a seed bead, and through the next one. And through my last one there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go through that center path until I get to that third two hole bead. And that's where I'm gonna turn around. Okay, so now going back through the two hole bead. And now I'm gonna come back through here and I'm gonna go through the seed bead and the four millimeter bead right next to it. So now you're gonna end up doing something just a little bit different. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up a seed bead, a two hole bead, and a seed bead. And now I'm gonna slide that down. Flip that around so you can see. <laughs> there we go. So now, as you'll see, this will become that unit right there. So I added a seed bead, a two hole bead, and a seed bead, and now I'm gonna go through this four millimeter bead right here. And this will help to link up that unit right there. So now you just continue to build that unit, and I'll finish this last one up real quick. See, I've brought my unit together one more time. Don't forget that last seed bead. And through that four millimeter bead right there. And one last time, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, there we go. The basic technique of this uh, weave in particular is just to kind of keep following that thread path and just keep kind of moving in that same direction. And then when you get to that two hole bead, you just turn it around and go back the other way. And then you'll get back right on track and go back when you're finished adding the center unit. Make sure you are going through the right way on that two hole bead. And they should just sort of naturally bend in for you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to really quickly attach your clasp. I'm just gonna work my thread around back 
through. And let's say I have come to the end of my bracelet here. So now I'm gonna attach the clasp and I'm basically going to be making two loops with seed beads, one right here and the other right here. So go ahead and pick up three seed beads and slide those down. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clasp and I'm just gonna go up through one of the loops and now I'm gonna pick up three more seed beads and I'm going to go back down through this seed bead right here and the two hole bead next to it. And you'll just see that just kind of come together and I'm gonna go back and basically work my thread across. I'm gonna create a little bridge right there to get to my second loop. And now I'm just gonna repeat that process, picking up three seed beads. Come on, all the way down. <laughs> Go through that loop. Pick up another three seed beads and go back down into that next four millimeter bead right there. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to turn the thread around and I would recommend retracing that path just for a little extra security and then you're going to tie off and weave in your threads. And that is how you do the right angle weave uh, modified version with a two hole bead and you can find all of these supplies and more videos at beadaholic.com dot com.